A very patient position here from Apex, hanging out the disco tech. Who clears this? Nobody. And for that reason, Tess dies. Rarer push through monster, plus Apex holding back to counter it. Mind game's already here in round one. And an answer back from Cadian as he takes down shocks on long. Bomb's still stuck out in this default. I think Vitality were really hoping to hold on. If he doesn't get much done, and he may not with that flashbang being thrown over. Yeah, perfectly on the mark. Just as perfect as Zaiwu's one tap. We're just going to go back and try and hold on to this round. He, you may or may not kill everybody on your own, but he's going to play it on his own. RPK able to serve up a bit of a distraction. That sets him up oh so well, and it's a three-piece for Zaiwu to start. And we gotta shake off the jitters. You're three rounds deep. Things are going well. And I got They also have to find that comfort zone. But that's a weird smoke. That actually somehow bounces back into the face of Cadian. First fight happens down here. Short B. Nice by Borup to continue that spray through the tunnel. As Masuda opens up the squeaky door, he is met by a face full of M4. And a 5v2 in the opening 20 seconds. Apex claws one back off of the barrels. He has a lot of attention being turned his way here because the three remaining members of Heroic at this B site are looking pretty fired up, looking pretty hungry for their kill. Flash into the site to take a peek. He, they've alarmed everybody here, but we'll see if that's to their benefit. Yeah, the wasp starts swarming. That Molotov is excellent. But unfortunately for Vitality, Zewu's dropped and Apex was so low the entire time. Couldn't even find either of those CTs as they just ran away. Mm-hmm. And B is there for the choosing, but is it there for the taking? Got two defenders very much curled up, down, able to get the first. RPK was burning, and Borup heating up. He gets himself two kills, drops Shocks to 37 HP. We're on for the clutch. 15 seconds left over as Shocks makes a ton of sound, and he's wary about Kadian's op. He knows he's coming from the A site, but Kadian better have a little bit of timing. 10 seconds left, Shocks just saw him. He's gonna plant it once and go for the duel, oh, yeah. but Kadian's so ready and with the USP of all things. I love how Kadian plays it. Doesn't even bother taking the scope up in heaven like some people would do in the game we watched. So mm. this is the insurance policy for if he has to rotate out. Ooh, Kadian, Ooh. oh, loses his teammate, but Masuda not quite aware that, oh, Kadian's on a pair. Three frags for him. Longman gonna get hurt out by Nico. That's an easy execution into the side of Apex's head and Shock's stranded from the B site. And of course, it's just because Katie does so well in the stairs that this is now a four on one situation, but what a round by Katie and four frags in total. But okay. I do like this monster. Oh my God, it's down. That's free. Drops the bomb and then has that second CT to peak. Borup gonna go down empty handed. Hot or cold, hit or miss, Masuda rounding the pillar. Takes Nico out of the situation and Tess S is caught in connector, but Kadian dunks one on RPK. A one versus three cut clutch for Kadian. 40 seconds. They're very fixated on heaven. Oh, he peeks oh. wide, sees just the head, misses the shot. Now at this point, Team Vitality just looking to anchor on their bomb site. And Maybe Kadian goes. Oh. oh, a flick up that gives Kadian a very real chance, but Masuda's gonna drop him out of the situation. What a shot. Hunting an op kill inside of the A bathrooms. There is another sniper on the other side. He could hear the shot nearly caught in the open by Apex's lurk out long. Here comes Tess as he trades back versus RPK. The Danish snipers down. Nico now over top of APC, looking for the contact. Apex is gonna feel as though he can swing wide and Tessas clips him. So a double man advantage here for Heroic and 40 seconds for Ziwu to hunt his opening. He still sits pretty on 90 HP and now it's time. Ziwu let them cool off. He's gonna clear out into the corners, but it's Nico yet again, holding him back on the cusp of this A site. Ziwu in the 1v4, 10 seconds left. All the CTs starting to run in on him. Heroic, tying at six. We'd seen him gone for this once. It's not too often. But he will play it patient. Apex comes wide. And Tessas actually dies here. And Kadian, oh man, he should be in a world of hurt. So many players just swarming in on him. He thought maybe he could answer that call to action at a distance. And Vitality, well, 
They find this A site for absolutely free. Heroic's yeah. hands have been forced. They've got to walk away. Uh, they, they, and they don't know how they can. Shox is a, he's a specter haunting them and knows where their position is. Okay, that, that's it. They try to exit together. Perfect. They all get punished. That's three players that could have gone for the retake that all died of vitality who don't lose a single member. He's hanging out overtime, though, here waiting for this uh, opening kill. Oh, my God. Oh. That is so unfortunate. As that smoke dissipates, now to be fair, they did wait for that smoke to dissipate. Sure. Even yeah. Well back. Oh, again! As that long pressure comes in, he has to turn his attention. Now his back's fully exposed to Masuda, but Tessas in from Connector. Hangs on to that man advantage. Kadian good enough to take one with him. Now they have Vitality completely pinched. Can they punch them out? Final round of the first half. It's either ending as close as can be, or Vitality lead by three. But these CTs yet to find their opening. A frag and a flash exchanged. A second one is oh so blinding. Nice flash usage. But here comes RPK with a trade frag back. The T's having wrapped around through bathrooms off of the bomb site now pushes Heroic into the two versus one. And Apex trying to get it done. But that bomb, ooh, he's trying to engulf it in the flames. It lands on top of it and gets Heroic off the defuse. We talked about no kit and it comes back to cost them. It is Vitality, 9-6 at the end of this first half. Win. Look back on and give us hope for the rest of the series. So hopefully it continues on. Down, Ooh. trying to hold with Whoa. his crossfire and it's working out okay. <laughs> Shocks just never uh, lets off far. the movie. That yeah, guy was on a skateboard a sliding through a monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. I mean, I get it. Second player behind him is the one that's meant to hit the headshots. And they always I mean... think you're going to strafe back. But what if you never do? <laughs> what if you never do? Spawn and spawn. Masuda on the hold. Oh, it's labored. And it ain't too pretty. Tessess. Going to clear him off of that B bomb site. So man advantage. But here comes the retake. And here comes Ziwu. Ah, no plant for you, Tessess. Gonna have to clutch this. CT's peeking all over the place, man. They're headhunting, and Tessess is fighting back. Apex ends it. A tenth for Vitality. They hit double digits first. Yeah, it's a close call. It's a two pistols here for Vitality. Definitely allows Vitality to just sit comfortably on site. Masuda with the first one. Missed shot by Ziwu. And Kadian's able to answer with Nico as well. Masuda's Fomus, though. That has made all of the difference on this B site. And he has a 3K to his name as Kadian has as many kills as he has HP left over. I mean, 30 seconds. He's not going to go for this. This is Vitality with a 12th. And while Ziwu did a good job of setting up shop, it was Masuda who looked most comfortable. But oh my god! They try to go for the gunfight and Kadian's gonna punish. Now suddenly he feels as though he has a chance. 15 seconds. He just needs the headshot. One bullet could make the difference in either direction. And Kadian, mm, he looks the wrong way. Apex tucked in short B closes. Vitality lead by five. 12 rounds to seven. It's not going to get any easier either. But Bomb is still inside of Connector. I mean, I'm smelling a late B hit at this point. And they're going to commit forward. Borup taking that headshot definitely draws the rotators upwards. Got a plan. Ziwu thinking he's doing a good job. But yeah, it's all down to the B site. Really good mid-round call here from Heroic. It's enough to give them a post plan. One kit, one flash for the CTs. And they make contact immediately, leaving it on the shoulders of Nico. He crawls wide out from Monster. He's going to find one of these players by surprise. Can he manage? No. Apex trades it and Vitality doubling the score of Heroic at a comfortable 14-7. Looking to continue their 100% map win streak with a six win here versus Heroic on overpass. Flash over top. Looking for a good explode onto the B bomb site. Numbers here for Vitality. Borup already past the pillar, and ooh, he finds Masuda as he falls downwards. Gravity can't save him fast enough. A double entry off of Borup. Absolute confidence in his teammates to kill anybody by those barrels, as he just fixates more so on the second layer of Vitality's defense. He'll need more to the playbook to be able to stage a full comeback, so this is just a nice kind of confidence victory to remind them they still got it, but they've got a litany of problems left versus Vitality to decide that they thought it solved. Ooh. It feels like Shox is so instrumental with the amount of information that he's always gathering. However, 
there is a world where he loses this duel versus Kadian, and that bomb carrier could have gotten into the A site where Nico has just cleared out Ziwoo. Shox is gonna try to give chase to Kadian, but he's allowed him to escape. So there is still a very slim chance for Heroic to close in a two versus five to deny that 15th for Vitality. They have three players rounding back through middle and Apex alone back on dumpsters. He's already fired off an entire magazine. I feel like Heroic, they know already yeah. that the bigger threat comes in from mid. Kadian seeing a glimmer of a threat, but he drops the shot. He, now he knows they're already close. No, nope, he finds nothing. It's all on the shoulders of Nico yet again. His attempt in a clutch is good for the first and second as well, but they're on Ooh. top of the bomb. A third kill for Nico and shot. Well, he doesn't have a defuse, so Nico takes the clutch. They don't want them anywhere near that A site. And you know what? Okay, heroic oblige. I can't believe neither of those two T's die. Look at their health left over. Masuda oh, in such a pressured position and you are dead on Mohan. With the double sniper setup, they have no choice but to save. That's weird. I think the answer is an off, but one of their only problems right now is that monster rush. It's not really the early rounds out to A. They shut down the default, it would look great, but uh, that's not the first time they actually have lost to a round like that. The save is good, Tessis. And nearly three kills off of it. Now RPK, happy to just pump some rounds down range. 20 seconds remain here for Heroic. Does it finally stick for Vitality? Masuda getting one, and they all line up for RPK, but Tessa somehow with a double headshot entry. No. Oh, it was a team kill in the mix of it all. This gets awkward, it gets weird, and Nico dying. It's cleared by Vitality as they find their 15th. In bathrooms on A, now up in the party. Looking to hammer the nail into the coffin, but Kadian not yet stopping a lineup for RPK. Nearly good for two, it's Masuda to trade one off long. And a man advantage here for Heroic. Nico now losing that out to Shocks and Connector, but Stown has this Connector door closed. Tessness, oh, he finds him blindsided. It's a one versus one. Either overtime or overpass victory for Vitality. He's tasked to close with the clutch. Molotov, flashbang, frag grenade on him. If he blocks off bank, that's huge. Because I don't believe this bomb is planted for Tessess at all. But he does have a molly of his own. He hears Apex stampeding around, buys not for the peak, and there you have it. Heroic, able to push it over the line. Tessess with a crucial 3k in round 30. 19 the magic number, 18 for double OT. Three-man stack up, look at this. They're gonna walk right into it. Kadian actually besting Ziwoo, but RPK with two, and Masuda the third. Round 26, when things just look dire for Heroic. And then we have round 29, Heroic in their streak so far. And Heroic with Boom. a chance to actually rip the lead away. Ah, but here's Apex, dead to rights. Stown's gonna drop back down the ladder. Op actually picked up here by Apex. 16-15, they started off well to the CT side. Frag grenades exchanged to the better of Vitality. My goodness. However, Ziwoo gonna have to, oh! He gets the collateral through the head of Borup. That is just ridiculous. Over the boulder, Borup bested. Nico gonna be added to the pile of corpses if Shox has his way but it's a bit of a fight back. Again, the bomb will be retrieved. However, 2v4. Of course, Apex, however, spotted. spots it already. Yep, now he's gonna take the knife out, close that gap, sees them crawling inwards, and Stown never had a damn chance. Nico, another 1v4 ace attempt. He sees the player short, executes the first, but Masuda too hot on the draw, and the trade connects for Vitality. I mean, for them to even get out of a B play, they'd have to redirect through spawn, but the perfect timing from Borup. Cadian's flash blinds them on short, and he barrels into that bomb site with nobody to stop him. But Apex in from the heavens, looking for the second, can't quite manage the spray. Shox is gonna have to 1v3. Heroic have found an opening on their T side in OT. 
It was looking like the perfect play from Vitality, but Heroic slip in the timing, and they will take at least one as they swap over to the defense. This is always the play that's coming out these days. Just a late, long lurker who can walk up so far and try to catch the timing, but it's right into the op of Stone. He rotates in at the perfect moment. Two on five. And Tess is still in connector by himself. <laughs> Doing what he does. Oh. Okay. Shock seat. Down. A bit of noise here, flash out from Katie. And this is two snipers actually on the A site, so I mean, not the worst position for Vitality. They're within close proximity, but there's also that flank to think about. No reason Wait at second. all for Borup to come from behind, but Apex does clear out Katie, and they're, they're shocks with one. An actual 2v4 attempt starting to unfold here for Vitality. Stown going to crank the dial, runs inwards with the sidearm. It's shocks in the clutch, and this is what he's made for. Falls back. 100 HP to his name, no utility, but it's him versus Nico. Further damage into Stown and the CTs start to stack up. Shocks tucked back by the flowers. One more, one shot. Oh. 4K from Shoxy. One of the most clutch players in the game, some of the best 1v1 statistics. Vitality could just swarm this. Cadian's gonna lay down that grenade. Decent damage, connects the first off shot, Borup yet to fire, now he rattles off some rounds, Kadian with a second, looking for the third, but he misses that close flick, it's a man advantage in for Vitality, they are shooting to close map one, a comeback that gives Heroic a chance here in overtime, looking like this could have been over ages ago. And Vitality now one kill away from making it happen. Youngstown walking in, finding Masuda inside of the smoke, Molotoving off the short player, which gives him a chance to kill Ziwu. With five HP, he remains, but now he's slain, and 12 health for Stown. Focusing on short, he taps that bomb. The monster walkout meant to close, but a missed shot gives Stown a second chance. He chases, and he doesn't find it. Time now of the essence. Shocks, he's done enough. Heroic will desperately try to defuse, but it's over. Overpass in the back pocket of the Frenchman. My God, they had to end like that. I can't believe it. It was so tense the whole way through. Another crazy comeback attempt. Man advantage almost meant nothing in those closing moments. You saw the CTs outside of Hell trying to prime the flashbang for the Heaven Peak, and well, quick redirection, a misdirection, a sleight of hand. Test test up close. Double headshot with the Glock, very good. Oh. Ooh, baby, a third, a fourth, and on for the ace. Tessus kicks it off. How are you gonna start off map two that way, Tessus? I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about already doing one better than their last final on Cologne. Now, Shocks on the fallback will try his best with the target selection, but the <laughs> two split up too well. Far too many bodies just piling down upon him. The damage output is actually good. And the frag from Apex? Yep. Oh, he didn't throw it actually. Held off on it. Warp's gonna back up into his seat. Wow. Oh. RPK, he rounds it. Apex, good thing he held that frag. He was waiting for the bomb planter. And now you check out the HP that's left over for Heroic and you realize they are not in a pretty position, especially with this slow and eventual wraparound from Ramp in the form of Ziwu. Single flash on Tessas. Smoke on the double doors. Bomb picked back up, could be safely planted behind the site, but instead he goes in the open, and Wait that's where Zewu slays him, but Stown has a chance. Oh my god, it was one kill away from another ace. Such a scrappy force that they tried. Looking to pressure upstairs, but just with blocks for the most part. Ooh, yeah, lining inside of the hut. The mini player dies immediately, so there's nobody to turn attention, and blink and you'll miss it. Bad gun or not, he's Get never in. scared. Just gonna tuck on the blue box. Here's this commotion. Now puts it in motion. Sprays down Nico's oh. face. A double onto Kadian. Bombs thrown over. Ziwu with the kill feed. Now just on Stown and Borup. Another 2VX. And things go from bad to worse. A three piece for shocks on that close MP9 play. The worst weapon of the round. And yet the most successful man. Stown towards ramp alleviates a little bit of pressure. On the CD side. You know, you're not going to get a lot of support, but the information you gain can be invaluable. And for shocks to not oh only do that, ooh, but then also 
put up three frags with an MP9. He's actually... Now it's Masuda's chance. If he gets them kind of holed up inside a squeaky door, could be a big spray. Sees him on the side of the smoke, nearly nailing the double, but Borup and Nico can bring this one back. Ooh, killing the opper is Borup. Fast headshot into Zewu, 2v2, but he gets hit from behind as Apex arrives just in the nick of time. And Kadian then flanks him, finding him on the ladder. A crucial error to make. Kadian now takes to the top rope, but with 20 health to his name, it is never going to be easy. And he doesn't have the bomb. A great smoke grenade to give him a little bit of room to work here. He can just play through the edge of heaven, but Shock's so focused forward that this should be dead to right. And it is good night for Kadian. A sixth round to Vitality's favor. Oh, Molly's going to screw him over if they try to play in this one. Or maybe Apex has his hands full because now Kadian's on top and finds him. Very cool kill. Poor Apex just wanted to play utility. Instead, he loses his head. Shock's now on damage control, trying to get into the B site fast enough. With the flashbang, maybe he challenges, but the smoke's meant to cover plant, and it absolutely will. Tess with a kill, and a 5v3 ensues here. Nico, as the door swings wide, is toppled. Tess takes to the dark corner, catching Shock's right above him, but now his position is known. Oh my Where God. does he go? The defuse coming through, Masuda denied, and Kadian, well, that's all it took. A fourth round for Heroic, but god damn, it comes down to the wire. Instantaneously down to the lower site. Yeah. <laughs> they just leave. They just leave. Oh, it's Zewu? Get out. They don't even, yeah, they don't even walk And they away. run right into Apex. Yo, this is so flustered. What are we, what are we, what are we watching? Surprised that they decided to just like fast track it. Oh my god. Kaden will do Kaden the best. I mean, okay, maybe his best is good enough. Oh, come on. This is his ace. Don't you dare take it away. Three frags to his name. Minute on the clock. No bomb currently on him, but it's not too far. However, Shox is creeping out from secret. If you're Kadian, look for lurks. You're trying to find a... Oh, my God. There's a window of timing. Oh, he just walks by him. And oh, my goodness. It's Zewu to Taking catch a bat. that. Wow. Slice and dice. It looked real nice, but... Wasn't quite enough there for Kadian. Z Woo back in action. And he even tags him up, bags him up. Masuda with a double from his headshot. Heroic. Dying as quickly in this uh, dying quicker in this round than the one prior. Had our series go so far. Very streaky. In the sense of round wins. Nico. Now second guessing whether he really wants to challenge the smoke, but his options limited. And his chances few and far between. Shocks. A lot of pressure for the player in vent. Luckily, Zewu there to cover mini entrance. Stown gets RPK off of the heavens. Didn't quite catch the player on hut, and that's gonna cost him. Masuda swinging for the fences as Vitality close with a ninth. A three round lead as they take to the T side. Opening T strategy will look like, but they're positioned outside to look for any pushes, and Heroic are not trying anything. Oh, never mind. Ooh. They have actually, yeah, they've actually swarmed the red box on this in-between timing. And Aye. Testis starts out the second pistol Ooh. round with another couple of kills. Probably would have aced if you gave him the space. Ah. Yeah. Sorry, USPS headshots, dude. There's just not much better than that. Block shots being sent down, but it's Nico with the crown at the end of this second pistol. So heroic on the CT side, starting off strong. And double ups outside presence from Heroic. Works so well against them. Oh, maybe they I... see the potential. However, Shocks looking to be the king on both sides. Some kind of save here. If the T's get too comfortable of positions, Tess is going back up the ladder. And they are walking it. Yeah. That is a great round called here by Apex. You're going to be scared to pull that rotation, overstack something, give up ramp in a spot like that, if now the other team's not going to even give you an audible. All right. Lots of pressure on this 21st round and immediate aggression coming out on ramp. Tessess has to fall and he will fall immediately to the MAC-10 of Zewu, but Kadian's here with a op on backside. And, well, he can't quite connect after the second. They're trying to frag him out of position. He actually manages a second kill, but it's chaos. It's carnage on the B site. And it leaves Vitality in a winning stance. Unless Borup off the back foot can throw a wild knockout punch. 
Masuda creeping in. There's the first kill, but it's labored. What could have been a crisp, easy opening is instead nearly 90 health removed from Borup. He's going to lay down the utility, but Apex could lay down the law, and he will. Through the top of the smoke, he closes. Vitality leading by three, 12 rounds to nine. Oh, Nico doesn't seem to have any ideas, just assuming he's left. I wonder if he clears this out, doesn't see the windows. Throw then in. he has to go back. Yeah. Meantime, Kadian catching Ziwu. Apex in with the action. Coming off of the ladder with a headshot. How did he get that? That's Don't tricky. tell me he was still on the ladder. I missed it. Bora on the back of the bomb site. The kind of last attempt here, but no, not even. Tessess actually adding two kills to the tally. And we've got shocks in the clutch. Oh, but the fire on his feet. That's going to be the audio cue. Now Heroic know exactly what he's up to. He comes back onto the front of the site, but he's blindsided by Nico. Heroic with double digits. They've at least got another round. Deep angle from Nico. Ooh, he lines him up again. Substantial damage. Can he finish? Yes, he can. He sprays him all dead. Down with a double in the mix of it all, but god damn, Nico. Unless they can start killing Nico, because, I mean, let's be real, he has been the difference maker in these most recent rounds. Could be just buying his team a lifeline long enough. They decide to rush through smokes. And now Nico is removed. He only got a single kill. Alien oh. outside of the garage, caught off by shocks. Excellent timing here from Vitality to get aggressive outdoors. The flash, too. I don't even know where that came from. All right. Let's keep our eyes on them. They're trying to deal with the player outside. Tess doesn't want to die. He could leave Borup to try and clap back, but Tess is now taken down. Softened by Shocks and slayed by RPK. However, Borup has a chance. He catches them in heaven. That's the bomb carrier. Borup with three kills. He leaves the Wu. Ten seconds left to make this play happen. Borup with his best Nico impression, is looking to close out on the clutch. Ziwu crosses over, takes the duel. It's damage for Ziwu, and his 20th kill is that of which gives Vitality 14 rounds. Oh my god, it's fast. They're running right into it, and Kadian so prepared for the first one. There's three CTs stacked on the site. Oh, not like this. Vitality clamoring in with a single kill on Shocks and Apex now with everything to do. Sees the first player, can't quite finish either of his frags. Make these T's uncomfortable. Two on top of the mini. Where's that AK at? Ah, uh, not gonna get into the first engagement. Two quick kills coming out for the counter-terrorist side. Make it five. Heroic arrive on 15 rounds first and foremost. Vitality let Heroic push it to overtime. But we get the same situation here on Nuke. Ooh, Shocks with a dirty headshot. And Masuda, the 2K oh trade. God. All that's left for Heroic is this lobby wraparound. If they go ahead and crank it, then maybe they could have caught these T's, but Vitality slipped downwards. Crap outside and, and you're worried about having the players pushing a lobby. We'll see if they read this correctly. Smoke comes down, plant is out, Apex oh. punishes, and we're looking at OT in the face. It's down. Already dropped to 48 HP. If I was a gambling man, I'd say this one's not finished in regulation. They've got five flashbangs and a Molotov to keep him at bay. Try as he might. Once he walks through that doorway, he's dead. Apex puts him to rest, and there you have it. Vitality. To think, Apex, he just sprinted out from Squeaky as all those players on A site were kind of occupied with HUD. Killing a guy off of the bomb site and putting himself in a great position to maybe catch a rotate, but they thought maybe Tessa's left. He tucked long enough to distract, but it's Ziwu to bring it back with an op shot. Peeking into Stown, he'll drop. Masuda on for the clutch. Yeah, this will be a Oh, tough Apex one. was bomb? Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where it was. Oh, no. Hold on. They That's just gave a him a chance. Big miss. 43 seconds. One spotted. Info oh. on the second. Borup. Good night. 35 seconds. He's able to touch back over towards Mini. I don't think Masu Masuda saw him. How's he redirect this? Does he go for the bombers? Does he go for Kadian? It's a sniper outside of Mini. Oh, it's a great Masuda. adjustment Kadian. He has no idea. Yeah. No. Wait a second. That's, oh. that's that. Good thing, because they were always going to have their hands full with Heroic on Nuke through the smoke. They'll try to push. 
down. Wild spray. He somehow survives it all, but now Apex able to get onto the kill feed. Borup with a double kill dropped off of the above. Apex then gets his second, and it's a man advantage here for Vitality. They are shooting for one round on this T side OT. They desperately need it. Tess peeking outwards, trying to catch a kill. Almost flashed on his own. But they're going to go ahead and plant that bomb. Kadian burning Apex. That could be the saving grace they needed. Now it's heroic to come in with the double heaven push. We saw this smoke from Cadian's clutch attempt last time versus Shocks, and he still lost. Now Tessus is inside it, trying to look downwards. RPK back behind Vent, sees the player oh. swoop in, and down he goes. But Cadian now knows that one's over there, focuses on Shocks, but can't quite catch him. Vitality will have one. They've blown doors open. Four players for heroic inside Squeaky. Bottles barreling outwards like an angry mob. They're going to try to clash their way into the A site. It works. They strong arm outwards with three convincing kills. Barely damage back the other way after Borup goes down. The double sniper setup as well here between Shox and Ziwu. This should never be enough. Whether they win the next round, who knows? It's tight, but. Well, hunting the ops down. Flash Dude. up. Boom, who's next? Bam. <laughs> yeah, it really does feel that way. All right. I mean, they clashed into the A site and it was so difficult. I mean, so incredibly bottlenecked through that squeaky door. Now they're gonna try and challenge out Hut, but they line up for RPK. He gets two and now it's Masuda off of the vent to cancel out the first man from squeaky, but his crosshair snapping left, right and center. Kadian in the middle of the attention now. Outnumbered. Oh, but the no scope into shocks is at least a parting gift. Still, we need to keep on going. Nuke not over yet. But who will be missing shots once shocks starts firing off here behind the red box? He gets the flashes to prime him. However, Tess Oh, with a second through the smoke. Apex was lingering within it. And Masuda's just on the other side. It's down in Kadian right here now, trying to trade this. Oh, but he doesn't clear his corner, and that's going to cost him. Ziwu, 1v3. And when he saved that off last time, Nico hit him with the chain time. Now Ziwu's going to show him as he shines, walking in to seek revenge. He lays oh, down the smoke. That messes with the timing. And Ziwu's actually caught them by surprise with the second kill. He nearly does it. Kadian. It's down downstairs. Secret. Yep, and he's found the bomb carrier of all things. Very quickly pick back up and a flash to follow. Oh, 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 wow! No way. That, what? Oh, but it's dropped the second time. Nico with a chance at another. Yes, he kills Apex through the edge of that smoke. Now RPK tapping at a distance, killed out by the sniper. Ziwu has everything to do. And through that smoke, Nico crawls. The first shot connects. And almost the second, but he never has that chance. Heroic securing themselves a 21st. Got two CTs down in hell. Ziwu just caught by Nico. That's an easy frag. Stab him. Sends a message. Tessa back behind Little Blue. Now dies out to RPK. Shocks from beneath the feet of Stown. A man advantage. Turn what? now 3v1. Borup down on that A site. Cuts off the first. Sees them and can't deal with it. Apex weathers the storm. And Vitality one more round. Head hunting. Outdoors. And another Ziwu with the op. This second OT fizzles out for Heroic. It looked like they were gonna close and it's gonna take some big play like that! Tess is down with three kills immediately. Another from Tess It's all on RPK. How have they managed to claw this one back into the realm of possibility? It seemed like Vitality were about to keep it going. Now it's RPK to fall onto the eighth floor. Sounds got him dead to rights, you'd think. And absolutely, Nuke closes in double OT. Three overtimes already across this series, and we are only two maps deep. A best of five final, nowhere near ending. Find anybody in alt, but there's no one there, and Vitality have shifted gears, turned it over towards the B site, all eyes on Borup. Yeah, not gonna be the best position. 
not going to be too easy, but he does have Stown to actually help out immediately. And Borup does catch a headshot, even a second, killing Apex and possibly Masuda, but his assistance arrives in time. Nobody dies here for Heroic. An excellent behold. Yeah, they hold on to it. That was really nice. <clears throat> Just clean shots being hit all around. Nice hold from Borup to the quad. Probably getting a bit scared there. Kind of like being in Jurassic Park and hearing a bunch of dinosaurs, but look at this cheerleader stack on the B site. Docs is going to try to pick him apart with the tightest shoulder peaks you've ever seen. Can he pull it off? Oh, no. Everybody's ready for it. Four player stack up on the logs with some utility to be thrown outwards as well. I mean, check it out. Three smokes, molly, frag grenade. They could really push out the pain some of these T's before they get the party rolling. There's the shadow advantage for Shox, but he's so fully blind that Tess S trades this with a second kill back site. It's Siwoo with two, a third frag for him, and he's able to already drop back through smoke. That's a smoke on top of the bomb. Tess S with the defuse, shot through smoke, an incredible 4K from Siwoo. Oh, are they gonna commit through? Rotations are here. Oh, they see an off Gideon. Oh, collateral! And just like that, four versus two. Still just as good at Counter-Strike. In a charming way. No, he's even gotten better at Counter-Strike somehow. Boom! There's the back of RPK. And shocks through the wall, able to best Cadian. That's a bomb plant, perhaps. Pit player making a move. Nico into the small pit. And shocks has now gotten himself off of the bomb site. He could very well catch these players off guard. Borup never saw it coming. And he should know that there's a second man there, but Nico out from pit, mm. also unbeknownst to Shock. And you can see that second player toying with the idea of peeking, but now they're gonna go from it on library and arch side. So they try to double peek pit. Nico does a good job of avoiding it. And Apex has now dropped that bomb as Nico only gets the one. Still winnable. They pick bomb back up. It's really kind of Stown versus Masuda, and they're going to have this long-range pit to library fight that could unravel the situation, but Masuda keeps his head tucked. And now as he comes upwards, he gets down, body bagged. Borup out from apps with an MP5. I kind of doubt it. He hasn't been spotted from the site, so he could actually clear the player beneath him. Now a single shot from the MP5 will get the job done. Ziwu in the back of the site, and Borup hunting for him, finds him through the edge of it, but there's just no, no time. A way to get the defuse off. At least the op goes down. And that's a deagle one. What a nade. That's Just a strike. Got dunked on. Katie, and he's ready to swing mid. Oh, they're going to pressure him. He lines it up. It's a perfect peek. Him and Tess just nailing him to the wall. Kadian with a 3k. Still standing as shocks sent clamoring down into the boiler. But it's already boiled over. Heroic. Just wrecking face. I mean, a missed Molotov from Vitality is kind of what allowed him to chuck that grenade out. Shock's dead as Nico patiently waits for him to walk outwards. Tied at three, tied at four. This pushes pressure onto Borup and Stown. AK on Coffins pops up, and with Borup by his side, they get themselves three. It's RPK to make the difference. 2v2 left over. This is going to be a hard round to win with uh, Ziwu opping through into spawn. They're going to have to gamble this on a shoulder peek, and yeah, it's a freebie. Yeah. Pretty much nothing Over you now. can do about that. Nico peeks it knowing that he's there. Oh! Whoa. And Ziwu coming back in from that mid-elevation. He's just starting to really trust his instincts, I feel like. Sounds fully flashed off that. Good thing Kadian's there in position. Another flash, now activating Stown, and he gets them both. Nice bit of teamwork here between him and Borup, but Masuda with the drive-by. Gonna go grab that bomb and try and join Shocks. It'll come down to some ridiculous entries if they want to win this. They will try their damnedest. Tess from the tall box, though. Masuda down and out. Tess with the double to close it. Heroic still within two. Up through lane, we see the smokes coming out. Flash for the end of halls here. It'll come down to these pit players. Ooh, and he can't get his gun out fast enough. Zero with the entry. Nico stuck inside of the smoke. He has had a cold game in comparison to what we got used to on Nuke. Only three frags for the moment. He had like, what, three rounds in a row with three Ks? Like that Vitality are calling out, you know, heroic doubling down on Banana. 
at least for a short period of time at the beginning of the round. This one, this one was extended. Heroic stayed out there for quite a while. They got to... And there is an entire team of terrorists starting to push his way. He decides not to fire the Fomus. Now they're going to wrap. Four men have gone by, and he could strike from behind. Test S. Oh, great distraction. Two kills, and Borup closes. Yet another 9-6 half this series as close as can be. No kills yet. Ooh, but there they are. Ziwu, two headshots. Masuda adds one to the tally. That's going to force the hand of Nico. He barrels out from balcony and just can't quite manage on his own. Had he gotten both those yeah, frags, that would have been A-sides open. Borup runs bomb. Mm-mm. Come on now. Mr. Robot aim over here. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> he aim, he's, You see him aiming right at his head with that smoke out? <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt. Wow. Ah, not that's, so bad. Timing's perfect. He falls back yeah. and, yeah, traps him into it. They want to go through. Is it just going to be a farm? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, no. No. No, it's not. Wow, Eagle. what an eagle shot. <gasps> yes, Listen, sir. we see the troubles of it, it hampers the rotations on CT side when they open this up. They got to take a risk. They push through Ouch. in through CT spawn. That's not something you see every day. No, sir, it's not. Apex trying to get them back, though. We'll find Tess Two more players nearly lining up. And in the meantime, Kadian catches a kill back in mid. A frag grenade thrown outwards. Misses the mark. Blows the weapon away. Oh, I mean, he That's knows he has to chase this down because the other guy's yeah, coming. Bombs there. He's got to get the 1v1. Kadian You're absolutely right. Speedway. He, oh, my God. No, he's... Not going to turn around. Hmm. It's going to burn some time off the clock. They could boost a man over and try and uh, seek out the opening kill. But instead, the Molly's extinguished. RPK, he actually eats the flashbang, able to regain vision and a second kill. But he falls into the fire. And because of that, it's an even 3v3. Bomb's gonna be planted. They may not expect Nico to be on this side of the fire. Ziwu walks right by him, caught off by Nico. Big brained play that forces the hand of vitality into the favor of heroic. They walk away with their two remaining M4s and call it quits. We are tied again. Willie hits. He's gonna kill this guy. Yep. Yes, he will. Oh my god. No, he won't. I believed too much. Cadian actually able to best him. We can't forget about the offing capabilities of one Cadian. And Apex, well, he's able to shave one off the cross, but RPK dies backside, and it's Cadian making a world of difference. Both of these remaining members of Heroic on the off. And this is that 2v2. It's down, gonna plant in a risky position, but it's Cadian to give the cover. This is Cadian's round. Not only killing Ziwu, but then following up substantially yeah, true. Five straight, six straight. I I want to say it's a bit unlucky because, you know, Zewu pulls out his nade, but they still they have the, the ability time. to refrag. The standard height, and even that's not enough. I mean, the guy got the dink. What more can you ask for? Kadian. Oh my god, it's down while blinded. At this point, heroic, they're just they're just not gonna lose this. It doesn't seem plausible. Heroic getting away with everything. Shot's gonna peek into two players, and that's also his end. Nearly a team ace. If Nico seals the deal here, which he very well could versus Ziwu, then that's heroic with 14 rounds. Shock's though in position. This is gonna be a big burst, and if the flashbang doesn't find him, oh my goodness, he's thrown himself inside it all. And that flash is great or not. Borup somehow dodging it, and then Tess with the second headshot. Vitality, read it. They try to pop into the play. They try to dismantle what Heroic had set up so silently. Yeah, it's just so putting all your stock in a flash like that can really yeah, make things look worse. But I think maybe he was hoping not to see someone there, if that makes sense. Trades sure. are going yeah. down. Like if, he, if they get the Hall's info, then at least they can rotate out. But yep. yeah. Instead, he gets a face full of, her, of Heroic and it's not pretty. Ziwu gonna close this out, but he dies in the end, in fact. So he's down clearing the sniper. Heroic with 15 on the board. Five map points. They hear that utility usage. Ziwu, man, it's a high pressure situation. He's able to get Kadian. Misses his second shot. Tess bests him. Now it's Masuda inside of the pit with a flash that goes high, but he dies and shocks fully blind. That is that heroic. Four versus two in an A-site post plant. Apex and RPK sent reeling back into the action. How
how are they ever gonna get into this? They have no utility left over, one kit between them, and they're outnumbered two to one, but they do nearly find the freebie onto Stown. Bomb halfway gone, and it seems to me like Heroic are adding that second round or second map to the series count. Bomb makes this sink of desperation and it's done. RPK will get one in the post plant retake attempt. Ziwu could have done it all, but I mean, that's the problem. He had to do it all. In that map, we did not see the same vitality. Oh man, it's a quick rush. The train is coming up short shelf right now from the T's. Tapping away. Apex desperate for one. Little bomb oh, tap, oh. that's a fake. Tried they to bait out ace. any grenades, yeah, but none on the docket. Apex sprints in. Executes Tessess, Kadian kills Ziwu. Kadian looking for another on the flank as, oh my god, the rest of Heroic Let's go forward and just absolutely blast away the pistol. Heroic, man, really taking their time. Mm -hmm. Ziwu peeking short side. That's Borup and Nico with SMGs. The Deeds reign supreme. And Stown now getting a second kill of the round. Man advantage held on to for Vitality. Plant. They go over top of the box trying to clear out Apex. His sidearm body bags yet another. Kadian tries to slide and he is denied. Vitality forced by for the second. Smokes on the bomb site. That could make things awkward if Ziwu wasn't just blowing heads off through the smoke. God, he makes it look easy. Goes over top of it. There's his third kill. There's his fourth kill. Oh my kill. god. Stown will stop him, but bomb still planted. Deagle in hand. Desperate situation. The corpses stack when not necessarily needed. And now Nico's in a prime position to try and lock this down for the bomb plant. MP9 is up, damage being output by Masuda, but he's cleared by Nico's nade. Ziwu, 3 HP, 2 T's ahead. Stown drops him and Nico wraps it to take a second for Heroic. We are four rounds deep and we've had two force by wins already. In the doldrums. We'll see though. They aggress into mid, M4 included. Stown, easy pickups. He gets himself two kills. Apex will trade it and retrieve one of the rifles, but you know, they didn't actually throw anybody downwards. They, they just left shocks kind of at the base of the B stairs. So all of this territory that Heroic are now coming to clear out, well, it could have already been taken, but shocks instead, don't be mistaken, still focused in here, but ripped apart by Borup, who is now gonna bombard this bomb site with a smoke in front of him already. He's looking for a further entry and he'll take it. Apex splattered. Onto Big Green and Ziwu with fire at his feet and a frag in his face walks inwards. How does he manage this clutch? Close enough on the second, but it's Borup to best him with a 3k. See if they get a kill, try to stay alive. Delay if possible, but then be able to retake B if anything. That's gotta be a one way. Ooh. Kadian finding Ziwu, he never even saw it coming and he was looking for that exact duel. There's always a world where they rock it back, but yeah, Masuda. Playmaker position, gets the bomb carrier and Stown hyper aware of the moment. Now with Nico in unison, they will work closer towards B. RPK in the mix, loses half of his health on that first fight. The bomb goes back the other direction. It's just a game of cat and mouse. None the wiser, we'll walk through. Look to isolate a 1v1 in the side and he'll get that, but does he know that they have pushed? Tessa, He's been the wrong. he still had him. <gasps> Just got around the next corner. At what point does RPK turn around? Never. He dies before he knows what hit him. At least it's not a grueling death. Just nice and quick and easy. And uh, love that Stown is so good at this map, so consistently. Yep, it's kind of his playground. He's gonna walk into oh. middle. Nice. Between him and Katie, and they just hold down, clamp down on both sides of the mid peak. But Apex, he's able to come out from elevator and shave off two as they fumbled up construction. But they don't. However, yeah. I don't know they, I don't know they know Stown's in here. No, they don't. They don't. And because they've reclaimed mid, there's no reason for Stocks to watch his flank. But now that he's in a one v three, the doors are open to Vitality. Hey. Mm. Okay, he'll grab that first kill. He knows Apex was over at middle at some point or another. The bomb is in control of Vitality. I'm sure he's expecting them to be guarding it. Unfortunately, he's got to get through Ziwu, which. You know Ziwu's thinking 10 steps ahead. Stout. Oh, dude. A 
far more patient position than what we've seen him in, but with that flash, he bursts past, killing Borup and dying to Stown. Tess gonna activate on short shelf, just tech nines Apex's head off, and he's now on the Fomus. An additional kill with the rifle, RPK tries to take to the top rope, and a single kill, turn two. It is, of course, the plant from Cadian. What can Shocks do about this? Scoreline, eight to four. I would like to say, though, based on what you said, he, I mean, Masuda has a lot of pressure on him. The deadly onslaught of Heroic's wallbangs. Apex was first, Zywu was second. Masuda finds the better of the timing. Kadian with a back turn and a chance at an additional kill. Nico, though, a bit of a closer, gets himself that double. Now they're gonna rock this boat back. 30 seconds, shot. he could stop them in their tracks. Stown doesn't clear it, and there is no real chance for them to go back to A, so they have to continue on, and Shock seems to know it. They clear the corners, but he's not going down. A 3K for Shoxy and a fifth round for Vitality. Everybody kind of doing enough now. Shock's just gonna catch them off guard with the aggression. They never seem to see it coming, and seeing as Heroic didn't have much to work with, they will happily take that AK from his cold, clammy hands. But Masuda, hot on their heels. We can't write him off. Vertigo experts. Oh, they look for the flank. It's Masuda behind. Done. And one round the difference. Split down the middle and Heroic have an edge. But will they be able to close this grand finals? Will they be able to deny Vitality their revenge? Down's gonna kick it off here on ramp. Nico emerging with a headshot of his own. And oh, Kadian adds one to the tally. It is a slaughter. Shox is gonna try his damnedest, but he too toppled as Heroic find their ninth. This is Scott Players just on the other side. And Ziwu, surprise, surprise, takes his head clean off. Now that actually forces two sets of feet from Heroic to move up short shelf. So in the meantime, Vitality, yeah, they're gonna find them with their heads turned. It's perfect from Shox. Excellent timing. Now, Kadian with his MP9 is pinned behind these boxes, and he has a teammate in Borup to try and help. Vitality haven't been able to close this just yet. They laid down a smoke in front of them, Heroic, and that alleviates a bit of pressure. But, man, these just aren't the guns they want to work with. Not in the face of adversity. Not in the face of four AKs. Flash is continuous, and the push comes through. Borup with another, but Ziwu closes. And an eighth round for Vitality. Yeah, oh, here, here it is. Tries to go over, and it's That's successful. Free. Yeah, big scalp to take as well. Now the artillery barrage thrown out, but that's... Oh, not nearly as nice as Apex with the double headshot lineup. And they know that somebody's back behind sandbags. A Molotov meant to burn him out, but Borup, he gets a double kill elsewhere. And suddenly we are right back to Heroic with a man advantage. Apex, he still knows there's a player here. Tess doing nothing is iced out, 20 seconds remain. What angle will he hold? He heard them. He just has to stop them from crossing, really. So, yep. oh, the flyers is are good. shot. Mm, that gives shot Dive a chance it. to cross. Oh. Apex with yet another four kills for Apex. Gunning for the ace. Can Kadian take it away? No, sir. Dan, Mattis Glare. We're gonna have to go round by round and see how Do comfortable it. they are. Stown goes to the push. He does not know they're holding. Misuda, he'll grab KD in the back. Now Stown has to divide his attention between two angles. <gasps> Apex, he can Apex can freeze. Misuda oh. somehow through the wall. Oh my God, that leaves just Tess and Bora. What just transpired in mid? Bro, Misuda, oh my God, he ducks underneath the generator. That's what gives Stown his chance to push deep. Apex comes out from the ladder room and doesn't clear the corner. Doesn't even see him on the fallback. Borup alone on the save. Heroic on the back foot. Terrorists win. And we're right in the though. final stretch. Oh. oh my god. What a save. For what it's worth, what a save. Completely unraveling this A site setup. Look at this. They have Apex, the middle of the map. Kadian. Oh, they have no idea, man. They have no clue. Dude, <laughs> Vitality now looking like the kings of Vertigo in this one. Heroic setup, intrinsically flawed. 
by leaving that space in mid. And maybe they were aware of some bit of timing. Maybe they thought in their minds that they could go back to reclaim it. But Vitality, they absolutely run rampant through mid. No, rather, walking quietly, silently, sneaking up a Vitality. Here comes the flashbang. Ziwu completely blind. This is heroic chance. They swarm down into the forklift. Ziwu to be tested close smoke. Oh, <laughs> and he's got Katie and running for his mama. Oh, four versus two ensues. And heroic suddenly about to be fighting versus five map points. Five map points. Just like Inferno. The Deagle goes down empty-handed. Borup nowhere to be found here. Embarrassed Vitality with that 3-0 sweep. They never even had a chance. Finally, when you thought that chance had been stripped away again. Oh, he could take the risk. He'd stick his head over the wood. You see his teammates' utility starting to store forward. Apex then dropping Tess further back, but Borup's position called out. He lines him up and oh. doesn't get the second. RPK is able to survive, and suddenly it's just Kadian left. Oh, and the 1v1 from two of the quietest members of each of these teams. A smoke and a flash for the tank. A full belt of utility, a full bar of health for Kadian. He's got the defuse kit. He literally has everything he could ask for, but can RPK close? He's creeping through smoke and he's got it. Vitality pushes the distance and heroic falling where no one thought they would. Kadian's gonna be able to pull out here. This is a map they finally, they played last time. It's gonna be a tight match for sure. Nico smells it. Oh, Suda. Just gonna run rampantly through the jungles. Looking like a king. As he gets the first kill of the pistol, there's the second. Ziwu with the double. Oh boy, that armored P250 can be such a burden. So, we talk about positions a little bit. Um, oh, ooh, that's something nice. Again, it's gonna be a lot of opping on the on the CT side. We actually have shocks pick up the second op quite often. Did in their last match. It's one of the key pieces that has gotten them to this grand finals, despite the log of a lower bracket run and bore up Nikos down one kill a piece near instantaneously leaves Masuda and Apex here to try and pick up some sort of a pieces but I mean not a single point of damage output versus heroic as they establish this 5v2 so how even how do you fathom a path back into this fourth Masuda blind as a bat here at the base of Connector, dies out to Kadian. That's a flawless first gun round from Heroic. That frag grenade from Tessas could be everything. He's gonna throw it out. Substantial damage, down connects that first op shot. There is one player to exit, but it instantly denied anything further. It's flawless. <laughs> see the car crash coming. No, I see it too. Oh, Kadian, underpass push. This calls them out. I mean, Apex, poor guy, he came out to mid, but you can't beat that CT spawn and Kadian. Oh my God, okay, Apex too. Yep. Now Bora. Also, just try a lurk. Just try nope. something. 3v5. Do something. Because if you don't, Kadian absolutely will. He is taking control of the server for the moment. Ziwu gonna swoop down in on him. Kadian almost takes Masuda's knee out. Unless Kadian gets into position fast enough. You can plant front triple. No one's cat. No one's front connector. No one's mid. Ooh, but they don't the, know that. Yeah. Kadian. Oh, looking for his 12th no, and heal Oof. taken. Okay. Kadian. Right. The man who has kind of risen from the ashes. But heroic with their claws in mid. If it doesn't get responded to, ah, it's going to spell disaster. Now they do try to come out to kill them here. Which you would think it's a precarious spot for the CTs to be, but if they can't get the kills, they lose the bomb. Crowded out here. And are already thinking about pushing a ramp. They are so prepared for this, it's unbelievable. Shocks the headshot into Stout. Follow up from Ziwu. The double sniper set up in the 3v5. They have actually found footing on the site, but Borup comes in to deny it all. 
bomb thrown down to the dirt, and that closes that. Oh, wow. Siwoo clamping down on Borup. Stown hasn't moved a muscle. And he misses his shocks. Shot. Shocks. Slides past the scope. Takes his head clean off and leaves Nico. First halves in this series. 9-6, nine, 9-6, six, nine, six, nine, six, eight, seven. First group. Is what he'll retreat with. And this kind of forces Cadian into a high pressure shot. But unlike Stown, he's great at those up close and personal combat offing moments. Yep. Everyone's allowed to make mistakes, but Cadian, right now, very much in the zone. Okay. Quick walk up connector. Nico low. They've overtaken jungle. But this won't be a surprise to Heroic. They're going to be able to see this. Mm -hmm know how to deal with it. Nico, he's not gonna get spammed down in CT. And oh. down with the rifle with Nico combined for three frags. That is the A play shut down. Shock's gonna run out Palace, closed out by Tessess. That double. I have no idea. What? He just watched it sail into the cloud. <laughs> just consumed by the void. Shocks is going to run out from Palace, finds a player completely blind to the form of Nico. Kadian's getting covered. Tessas oh, with oh. the 4K! Incredible fourth frag! That headshot onto Apex is what dreams are made of, and Borup will close. Kadian's got a gap. Ooh, but the timing. He didn't see Shocks. He will clip the wings of Masuda. Oh. Oh. And Kadian right through it. Oh my god. 16 and 3. You put out a Twitter poll before this map went live, and you said option one, Ziwu. Option two, Kadian. I'm I curious if I can see all the names results. of the people who voted so I could hold them yeah. accountable. Yeah. Rat them out. Because Kadian and Mirage and best of five finals, that's a recipe for something special, so it seems. Apex, yet to be seen, about to walk through the side of this smoke. The damage could connect here for Nico, and he does get traded by RPK, but Borup then comes out from behind his boxes. Tess applying pressure over on Cat, leaves RPK with a minute on the clock and a 1v3 to clutch. A frag grenade goes forward. That's gonna soften up Borup, but there's the Opper in Kadian, ready and waiting. Another multi-kill for him, his 17th frag. Op rattles out, nothing. Molotov at the feet of Ziwu. It's Masuda actually to die out. And they know that there's a player here inside a connector. Nico focusing on him better than Shocks. 5v3 and Heroic absolutely gunning for the double digits. It's going to take something phenomenal with such little utility and HP for them to hold off in the post plant. But they'll try their hardest. Nothing to lose. As the first 15 comes to a close, it's all on Ziwu, and they are going to swarm him to success. Heroic, doubling the round count of vitality. Maybe the highlight of the tournament? Who knows? I don't 15 know, man. Frag. Yeah, 18 was... for Kadian. There's just all sorts of stuff to talk about, but so many more rounds to go, perhaps. Oh, whoa. Heroic, gonna keep it quick. Gonna start running up into the A site, challenging is Apex. And Nico, he's gonna clear his corner. RPK is slain. Masuda on the kill feed to the favor of Vitality, but until Apex connects that one, it's all that they really had going. And now it is going back in their favor. A two versus two with that bomb down on jungle. We need to see Shocks get into position, but he's lost his teammate already. It's Tess and Kadian, the shining stars of Heroic at the moment, and Shocks just deletes the first one, but can't quite close. 11-5 to Heroic's favor that they've had to go through. You know, Cadian's, just Cadian's career, so long, so many ups and downs, and never something this high. As he connects and Apex and Ziwu both die, it's Shocks and RPK with MP9s, and a four versus two for Heroic, a 12th round on the docket, you think. Shocks will surprise Nico at least, and able to catch a second here from Apps. So the attention starts to turn, but Cadian's got it back versus RPK. This MP5 at a distance. Oh, it was almost at bat, but Cadian's a closer. 24 kills, three deaths. RPK back by ticket, four kills to his name. 
flashbang in his eyes, completely blind and still survives, at least for the very first one. It's Tess with the double. Four versus two and footstep heard by Shocks down. Easy spray, easy pre-fire. Opera walks right into it. They've committed in, man. They spent their money here. They went the MP9 round. They got M4s on this one. You know, you want to talk about digging deep. You want to talk about finding yourself when it's all really on the line. Heroic have fought back all the way from the very first round of our lower bracket. 2-0 mm. versus North. Sprout, big. That could be a world of hurt for Vitality. This cat play is coming in if Shox doesn't deliver. Oh my god, he gets nothing for it. Luckily, Masuda will control the apartments and a second kill and a chance at more. Masuda on the 3k. He lays down the smoke and plays around it. Could very well cut off the bomb, but it does tuck back in for Cat. Nico with the kill. Kadian snipes Apex, and then he follows into Ziwoo, no who's way. the best player in the world, because Kadian's 28 and 3. How can he have that much stamina? Every single corner, because Borup is already deep in the marketplace. Masuda blindsided. Further damage versus Apex. Ziwoo's still on 100, but he only has the Deeg. Seven seconds, bomb's gone down. Apex gonna jump out from the window? No, not even, needed. But Stown has a chance to close here. It's over towards the market that Apex holds. He's killed, Ziwoo able to clutch, and this one's not done yet. Okay, they'll keep it going. One more round. Wow, it comes close. Apex, vested interest, holding down the window. Dangerous spot to be in. Shox grabs one, Connect connector's opened up. And Apex gets spammed. RPK <gasps> will do some damage. Hell of a time to come to life. He follows up with damage onto Nico, but Kadian's still standing, fighting tooth and nail. He gets swarmed by Apex. That's Nico now in the clutch. 16 HP to go. zuu has got the off just on the other side of the smoke. The flashbang's great. Both those players blind. He walls them ever so slightly. But Apex rocks it back. And Vitality still fighting. I want to count on Nico in situations like that, even on low HP. And Heroic, they'll turn their talent towards A. They can come up the ramp. Molly to triple. One player in the site. He's dead. dead. RPK absolutely steamrolled. And now Nico, well, he's already got this deep CT position. How is Ziwu going to deal with this? It's a little bit clustered, a little too close for comfort. But Nico, all right nonetheless. He is joined at the hip with Borup. Five versus three for Heroic to close this tournament, to win yet another online event, to cement themselves at the top of Counter-Strike. Shocks trying his damnedest. Apex with only 14 HP, 1v3, and get ready for a Cadian pop-off, because he's done it. He closes and leads his team to yet another win. Wow, Heroic. Stunning fashion, all the way back through the lower bracket. You cannot question their resilience. You cannot question their skill or leadership. This is something magical in the making. And heroic, not only have they now strung together win after win, but they have earned themselves a slot at the IEM Global Challenge where they will take this success and prove us all that they can do it on land.